Hello, everyone. We are Next Gen Science, Group 66. Do you remember the science projects you did in elementary school? Maybe you made a volcano with baking soda and vinegar. Or maybe you made slime that you took home that your parents hated because it got stuck to the carpet. The only science project I remember doing is putting a seed in a bag of water and another seed from the same plant in a bag of water and soil to see which one would grow better. But was any of that even helpful? If you don't think so, you're not alone. 20% of K-3 students and 35% of students in grades 4-6 through six have access to daily science instruction. Major current issues such as climate change are never addressed. Teachers and administrators across North Carolina have expressed many concerns with the elementary science education. This is where Next Gen Science comes in. Next Generation Science Standards are lessons that work in conjunction with North Carolina's Common Core in order to boost elementary science education. Group 66 will work to implement these standards and take a stance in the school board to remind them how important science education is. Science education increases critical thinking. It encourages kids to problem solve and think more broadly. In an interview with NC Public Elementary School teacher Lane Kennedy, she says science helps teach kids environmental literacy, being aware of the environment, going outside and enjoying it. It's important because it creates connections so that kids care about environmental sustainability. She also says after her five years of work in NC Public Schools, she has never worked in a school that had a science curriculum. A science education so early on would not only prepare students for courses ahead, but begin to introduce them to the growing careers in STEM. Data from the National Science Foundation shows that we are below the OECD average for STEM education, and 15 to 20 counties outrank us in that department. By implementing next generation science standards, lesson plans would be provided, relieving stress on the teachers while also helping to fit in science with English and math education. Next Generation Science Standards was created to work in conjunction with Common Core, alleviating the worry that standardized testing would be affected, as many teachers expressed this concern. Due to this, the primary audience would be for teachers, as it would provide the most benefits for them while also providing side benefits to students. Students would be more prepared for more intensive courses in later grades. This was stated in an interview with the K-4 STEM coordinator Region 10 in Connecticut. Benefits from implementing next generation science standards include less work, lower stress, and less time spent on preparing for science classes for teachers, as lesson plan guides and learning objectives will be provided. And for students, the benefits include increased science education, better problem solving, and increased preparedness for later science courses. Following an interview with the NCDPI section chief for K-12 science education, we were informed of the process for implementing the science standards. To go over this loosely, it is done in three steps, review, revision, and implementation. We would first start with review by conducting interviews all over the state with principals and teachers as we have already begun doing. In Connecticut, they implemented the standards slowly by starting with volunteers for the program before making it mandatory for all teachers. They started by implementing the standards in elementary school in over a two to three year period implemented it through all 12 grades. This would ideally be what North Carolina would do. Funding-wise, only workshops and, and substitutes for teachers to attend the workshops would need to be provided as learned in an interview with K-4 STEM coordinator Region 10 in Connecticut. While paying for workshops and substitutes can be pricey, many states have combated this issue by applying for grants. North Carolina played a role in developing NGSS back in 2013, but never implemented it into our own schools. This gives us hope that with a push from us and surrounding communities, we can gain support with the school board. We have interviewed seven teachers, including two to three school principals, the NCDPI, as well as an out-of-state science coordinator. All teachers interviewed have strongly supported our idea of implementing new science standards. Many do feel it would be a struggle to adapt to, but also very beneficial in the long run for both the teachers and the students. This is confirmed by representatives from NGSS and a Wake County superintendent. In the future, we plan to reach out and partner with Dr. Sean Moore, the Director of STEM Education at ECU. Group 66 hopes to implement proper science standards across NC to better our science education.